Hello Scorpios, this is your reading for March 2019. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. See what's going on for you guys for the month of March 2019. What's going on for Scorpio? Please show me what's going on for Scorpio for March. What's going on for Scorpio for March? Scorpios. Alright guys. Let's see what you guys have in store for you. For March. What's going on around you? Your challenge. Underlying issue. Recent past. Best possible outcome there. It's coming in. How you're feeling. Your outside influence. Your hopes. Your fears. And overall, let's see. All right, so what's going on around you guys is judgment, your card. Um, making some very heavy decisions, I feel, at this point. Um, this, is, this is everything to do with reconciliation, is what I'm feeling for you guys. Um, there, there's something that's weighing heavily on you. Whether or not to give something a second chance is what I'm getting from you. Okay, something that has ended, for sure. And uh, just kind of thinking about, you know, would it be beneficial? Would it work out? What are the chances that it will work out here? Okay. Thinking heavily about this, I feel, okay. Because you're hearing a call. You know, there's an energy around you guys where I'm, I'm getting that you're feeling kind of pushed. You're feeling like you need to act on something here. Um, strong energy here. What's challenging you guys is the page of pentacles and maybe this is to you know just dig a dig deeper into the situation dig deeper within yourself spend some time by yourself just really thinking about what is best for you what is best in the situation here okay um if this is you guys needing to make amends with someone i'm thinking this is you know also a challenge for some of you is to do that Okay, if that's what it takes to bring this back, then um, that is what the challenge is, is to make amends. Do whatever you feel like you need to do that's going to bring the outcome to you that you want, you know. So, the underlying issue here is the world. Definitely um, another ending here. But with this ending, both of these come new beginnings. So I'm, I'm getting that you guys have definitely learned something. You've completed something here. Something has wrapped up. And it's now, there's a new beginning ensuing. So, but the decision that you make here is going to bring about whatever type of beginning that your decision has brought to you if you decide that you do not feel like whatever relationship or whatever situation um if you feel like that does not need to be brought back or need to be fixed or worked on or whatever then of course you go on without it but the world is saying that you have indeed completed something here so what do you want to do next basically okay because the world is saturn Whatever it is that if you guys are bringing in for yourselves is going to have um, long-term consequences because Saturn is enduring. So just keep that in mind, okay? Now you have 20 and 21. So, of course, this is the end. This is the end in the tarot. All right. So the next card here after 21, after the world, is zero, is the fool. What are you going to do? Take a leap of faith on something, someone, 
it's up to you you know so how you're seeing this is a four of cups right now you just really do not know you want to take that cup you want to accept that love but I'm getting that what you're feeling right now is like comfortable for you there's nobody worrying you nobody bothering you um, there, there's no hassle of trying to keep a relationship afloat it's like you, you've gotten kind of complacent but at the same time it's not truly comfortable because there is somebody I feel like you guys love and that love you that's the bottom line here so in the recent past we have a four of pentacles here could be a cancer individual or um, capricorn that you are that's significant to you but somebody was definitely holding on i feel um holding back holding back their emotions not really wanting to open up and spend time with the other individual okay um, this could be you, but it also could be the other person that's involved in this. Um, really kind of not wanting to make a decision one way or the other. Again, a very stable energy here with the Four of Pentacles. Very stubborn. You know, just kind of like, you know, I'm comfortable here and I'm not budging. I don't want anybody getting on my nerves. I don't want... Um, I don't want the hassle that comes along with the relationship and, and keeping it together and trying to make things work out. I only want to be concerned about myself right now. You know, I'm good with that. So you or someone else here, okay? So the best possible outcome here is the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is like, um, if you, if this is you and you're comfortable just being by yourself and you feel like, you know, you have less of a headache, um, just worrying about you, then I definitely see you being good, single, by yourself, secure, um, confident, okay? But just remember that, you know, if you choose that, then that's going to be a status that is going to be enduring for a while, okay? Again, because Saturn is what is enduring, it's long term, okay? So I don't feel like any decision that you make here is going to be a bad one. Just try to keep in mind that whatever it is you choose, make sure that it is indeed what you want to do and that that is the right decision for you because it's going to be long lasting, okay? So what's actually coming in for you guys is a five of swords. Um, I feel that there is definitely someone here Aquarius energy that is wanting to fight for this situation, for this relationship, for this connection. Definitely someone here is willing to fight for it. Um, and I'm thinking that there's somebody also that's energetically waiting on you to make a choice, waiting on you to make a decision, waiting to see what you have to say. If you're wanting to fight for this, if you're coming back, you know, there's definitely somebody here, I feel, that, you know, wants to have a conversation about, you know, what has ha actually happened between you guys, okay? Even if you're not speaking to them, there's definitely somebody here, okay? So, the outside influence here is the Ace of Swords. Definitely somebody wanting to know the truth. Somebody wanting to move forward with you guys either with you guys if you guys can get along or they want to know the truth so they can move on by themselves they're, they're waiting to see what it is that you will do is what I'm getting here definitely somebody wanting to be victorious in this situation one way or the other okay so your hopes here is a six of Pentacles I'm definitely getting that um, you do want to be with an individual here um, Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy is present here. I'm getting that you guys really want to share your life with this person. Um, for some reason, I'm getting that there probably were a lot of disagreements, a lot of arguing, um, maybe some backbiting here in this situation, and maybe some neediness that was happening here. Um, and I think that, you know, that kind of has somebody a little leery in this situation, all right? So the fear here. Is a queen of wands again I feel like very fiery energy um, maybe you guys feel like this person still has anger issues if they have anger issues maybe you feel like they're they're flip at the mouth you know argumentative but heads with you a lot here 
this is Aries energy I feel Taurus Aries individual um, maybe you guys feel like this person will not want to start over again like they've moved on like they're not going to want to give you or give to this relationship like they you know once were even okay so the overall outcome here is the knight of pentacles again earth energy i do feel that um there is definitely somebody here that you could um have a stable relationship with the knight of pentacles yeah it's a knight but a very stable knight very slow moving night though but the the this night of pentacles is basically um kind of looking back at the past where they've come from where they've been and possibly where they want to go but thinking about things studying things um looking for stability they don't want to make a mistake whoever this is they don't want to make a mistake, but I, what I get is that they're waiting on you guys to decide if you want to fight for this. So what I'm getting here is that maybe this is in your hands. Okay, so we have Cancer, um, Aries, I feel, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius, guys. All right, so I'll be speaking with you guys soon.